Velocity TV begins now. Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in for the wildest thrill ride of your life. So grab a snack and sit back because we're about to throw it down. We've got the best three wide action door to door racing out of turn number four you'll find on iRacing. We're right here live on the Full Velocity Racing Network. We are about to crown tonight's champion, and it's time to let her dig. We're restacked and repacked up a turn number four. Who you gonna be? And your source for esports racing is live. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Full Velocity Racing Network live tonight at the Eldora Speedway in Rossburg, Ohio. A great event. Got to thank our, to yeah. Mr. Justin McNeil for putting on an awesome event here tonight. It is the Snake Bite 50, presented by Reptile Designs and Statersville Electric and Starter and Electric. And when it comes to you live tonight via Facebook Live, YouTube, and Twitch TV. Good evening, everybody. My name is Phil LaCasse. My control guy tonight is Mr. Jack Sherwin, and we are ready to rock and roll for it. It's going to be a long night of racing here on the network, starting off here. The first of what is going to be three main events for us here as part of the Full Velocity Racing Network coverage this evening. We'll tell you all what we're up to in here a little bit. Is uh, We got qualifying. Kiss one about done. A full server of street stocks in the house. And the iRacing iFlag countdown to green is just about to click on to zero. You look up here. Is qualifying now complete? Tonight's quick time and qualifying for the street stocks at Eldora. Car number 42 of Coy Pennington. He will be the one who will lead us to our first starting lineup tonight of our first of what is going to be five heat races on the docket. So heat four, so five. We'll go eight laps around. And starting on the pole for heat race number one will be car number 42 of Coy Pennington with the number 48 of James Muborn alongside. In a run number two, the number 13, Daniel Worthington with Justin Holt alongside in number 311. The number 81 car will start fifth. That is Jeffrey Howell with the number 22 of Jacob Bailey to his outside. Corey Range will start seventh. He is in number 71 with the number 78 of Travis Elliott alongside. And in row number five, our final row for heat race number one, the number 30 of Shane Graham with the number 20 of Zachary Clark. That'll be our 10 cars for heat race number one. The top three will transfer off into the main event until taking only three on. And we got a 30-lap main event on tap. We'll play a little bit of alphabet soup, it looks like, and hope everybody is doing well out there in these definitely trying times. Everybody basically on a quarantine lockdown, depending on what part of the country, the world you may be in. And we're doing a lot of sim racing out there for sure. Esports is where it is at right now, and we're happy you guys have joined in here tonight on your source for esports racing, the Full Velocity Racing Network, as we get ready to load as the car is beginning to assemble and now beginning to pull off of pit road and i'm going to put some calls out for uh looking at some of these race cars i want to say hey to our great sponsors 
Going to say hey to Charlie Milner, Milner Media and Design, hoping some of these guys will get over there and get their nice new wraps painted up because there's a whole lot of stock game cars out there tonight. They can also look up guys like JP Designs, our buddy Josh Peacock, Trash Panda Graphics, look up Jason Salter and Trash Panda, even Ike Stat Wraps or Evil One Graphics, a couple of the rap or even Sheffield Graphics, our onboard sponsor. Can't forget about Mr. Sheffield at all. Great six really good painters out there. We just listed them off. You guys out there racing and watching tonight want to get yourself a nice new sick looking wrap. Get a hold of those guys now. If you want more information on where we can hook you up, get a hold of us. Send us a message here at the Full Velocity Racing Network in our inbox. And we will certainly help you out do the best we can for sure. Is work on trying to get myself a better camera view from where I am at here really quickly is uh, the, the frantic scramble with the mass amount of iRacing servers and racers out there right now getting some of these race servers up for leagues and great races like we have here tonight we'll tell you all about we got money on the line here this evening to our winner and a lot of cool awards to have, hand out so uh, a lot going on iRacing I think has been overblown and oh you know really busy for sure and uh, when stuff like that happens Things don't always work as they're playing as we were a little late getting out here tonight because uh, one of the problems with the race servers when we go under the iRacingIFlag.com green flag. It's going to be Coy Pennington with car number 42. He will lead us for the first time off the exit of turn number two, a 48 car of Mooburn will move into the second spot. James Mooburn, he's going to lead the way. Dan Worthington, the number 13 there, and also the 311 of Justin Holt. As we exit turn number four, let's put lap number one complete in Rossburg, Ohio at the Eldora Speedway. And our first caution flag of the evening out, yellow, yellow, yellow. As we begin lap number two, we slow it on down. Team Hard Motorsports, yellow flag number one, right in heat race number one. And that means it's going to put Jack True into work. Down there in the control booth, our very first instant replay of the night and all replays on the Full Velocity Racing Network. Brought to you by Jonathan's Journeys over at jmaxstrong.com. That is where you find them. We'll tell you all about J Max's story here over the course of the night as well. We get a mess, it looks like, in terms of number one and two. A couple of cars involved. I think I saw the 71 car of Corey Range pulling away, the 81. Jeffrey Hauser, Travis Elliott, number 78. Looks like they're uh, on the list of drivers that are all involved there for the first yellow flag of the night. So a lot going on, a lot of communication. Uh, Going out off camera, trying to get a couple different things started out there. My partner in crime for the network, Mr. Too Tall Todd Stan, he will be out with uh, the All Star Southern All Star Series tonight. And they're trying to get their main event going on. It looks like that was going to be delayed by about an hour and overblown crowd size over there, getting these servers up and running. So it looks like it'll be 8 30 p.m. Eastern Time that Todd will be live over there at the Southern All Stars, the Lunarville Speedway. So it'll be the first one. It sounds like it to be a few weeks at Southern All Stars in this simulation, which would be great. Jack and myself, we're going to head over and join our broadcast colleague, Mr. Jeff McConey. We are going to be at the SinsU.com Modified Tour. That'll be over on Speed51.com a little bit later this evening. Some Wayland Modifieds, the Thompson Speedway, which is right where I'm located, northeast part of the country. And looking forward to going to do some home base there. Do some Wayland Modifieds on the asphalt here in a little while. But we've got a lot of racing to do here in Eldora to get it off with and we got James Mooboard with the number 48 leading the way over Justin Holt, the number 311. Third, we find Daniel Worthington, Coy Pennington, our quick time tonight. He currently runs fourth with Sean Graham in the number 30. That is our top five there in turn number three and four. We're going to go under the outracing guy flag.com. Green flag now five laps of eight complete. Yellow flag laps are counting in the heat, so they're wasting some time here under the yellow. We're only the top three go to the main event. Mooboard will hit the wall off turn number two. He'll wash up the hill, and that may open the door. For the 311 of Justin Holt, maybe pounce to the low side. His hold is over there in turn number three and four. Pennington in the 42, beginning to flex his muscle as well as we exit the corner. Two laps remaining now in heat race number 148 car. Right in the wall there, rim riding up high. Hits the outside wall off the exit of two. He'll lead the way. 311 of Holt in for second. Here comes Coy Pennington, that white number 42. Coy's down to the low side. A whole shot maneuver here. Kenny slide up the hill. That's a good race for the second spot as our white flag goes up in the air. One more trip around for the driver of car number 48, James Mooborn. Off the exit of turn number two, Holt going to take a peek to the inside now as Pennington had a little issue there. He washed up the hill as he'll go back to the low side. Who is going to take this one? Big move through the middle. Can Mooborn hold on? The 48 car, he certainly will. James Mooborn will win heat race number one. Justin Holt in for two. Coy Pennington going to grab our third and final transfer spot with guys like Dan Worthington, Jacob Bailey, 
Zachary Clark, Jeffrey Hauser, Sean Graham, Corey Range, Travis Elliott. Those drivers will be off into the LCQ rounds. And will follow us here through what is going to be five terrific action-packed heat races. And I'm going to tell you now, a lot of stuff on the line here tonight. Cash purse. $150 to win this main event, the Snake Bike 50 at Eldora tonight. $5 payout to second through fifth in the finishing order tonight, courtesy of Team Dirt Track Junkies. We know those guys, TTJ, really well. We are going to give $25 to the 13th place finish of our feature event, pa Patriot Racing, and the step up there. Good folks at Stevensville Starter and Electric, they are going to have a $50 hard charge reward, the hard charger of our main event, and also. $20 going out to each heat winner, courtesy of McNeil Motorsports. So right there, Mr. Boo Barnard, car number 48, picking up $20 cool dollars. Winning heat race number one, 20 more will be on the line in heat race number two. And on the Voyles trucking starting lineup, we will find the driver of car number two on the pole. That'll be Carter Batterby. And alongside Carter with car number 15 will be Robert Burks. In row number two with car number 14, Peyton Branch with Matthew Day alongside with car number 54. In starting position number five with car number 36, that'll be Jonathan Capps with Gregory Frazier alongside in car number 31. The number 74 will start seventh. That is Josh Milliken with the number double dot seven alongside of Dustin Young. Calvin Capps will start ninth with a double double zero and going shotgun on the field, although I don't believe he's... Oh. Out there racing, that was Justin McNeil, but he is the guy in charge here tonight. So, I'm sure, he certainly has his hands full, but he was in the lineup. I don't think these guys know enough to to disable themselves or de themselves in the lineup to get out of the heat racing lineups. But, hey, we thank Justin for putting on a great event for you guys. And Good to see my buddy Charlie Milder out there in the chat. Lighten it up and all you out there watching and being involved. I see Ben Alfaro's out there, Angela Knight up there and look, we're chatting away and I'm glad you all are via Facebook Live and YouTube and Twitch TV. If you guys have not done so yet, do us a favor. Like our links out there. Share the links a little bit place and let them know the Phil and Jack Attack and the Full Velocity Racing Network are here. And we are live tonight at the Eldora Speedway. We are going to have a good one here. As I'm just kind of listening to some of the instructions. It looks like the restarts here. The starts and restarts will all be on the leader. And that is going to be the Dukes of Carter Batterby. He will lead him down in the terminal three and four with Robert Burks alongside with Carter 15 as we get ready to go off to number four. IRACSKYFLAG.com. Green flag goes up in the air and Batterby will lead the way with that blue deuce on the side of it. White number two going to head him down to the terminal one and two. And already a race going on for the second spot off the corner. The 54 car all the way down to the low side. 54 is Matthew Day. He's got Peyton Branch in the middle. Robert Burks to the 15 up high. Three deep off of turn number four. Let's complete lap number one. And we are all chasing the driver of car number two. Carter Batterby leading away. Matthew Day now up to second. And the drama surrounds who was going to hit the start of final transfer spot here with Peyton Branch. Robert Burks. He also got caps right there as well. Cap, Jonathan Caps with car number 36 riding in fifth as we exit turn number four. Let's complete lap number two and all chasing the deuce. Connor Batterby leading away and he's got a pretty good lead there. Seven tenths of a second on the race back here for third. 14 car going around. Peyton Branch, he's the wrong way off the exit of turn number two. He's down on the inside and we've got more cars over wrecking in the back straightaway. So it looks like we're going to keep this thing green. It looks like as we exit the fourth turn. Batterby continuing to lead over Matthew Day. Now put Dustin Yount, the double dot seven. I see Charlie Miller out there, Rufa, double dot seven. I got to imagine that's got to be maybe a, a buddy of Charlie Miller in the car. Maybe a, a sweet looking rap for Miller media design that could be on Dustin's car. Is he now running in the third spot off of turn number four? Carter Batterby is running away from this one as we already halfway home. Four laps in, four laps remaining in heat race number two. Batterby with 1.6 seconds the advantage over the number 54 car of Matthew Day. That's where you find him. Dustin Yount back there running in third. He was 2.6 seconds back last time around. And he's got a pretty good gap. Over two seconds back to Land or Calvin Capps. And Josh Milliken in the number 74 back there. Jonathan Capps 36 dropping back. Another spot on the outside to make transfer as we exit turn number three and four. This time by car number two, Carter Batterby leading the way out of his forward out in three and four is... Like the pace really backed off there. I thought the yellow was out for a minute. 
Oh, somebody hit their brakes, but that's two laps remaining. Popsicle sticks go down. Two more trips around for the Deuce of Batterby. He will be off of turn number two. 1.8 seconds interval between him and second place running Matthew Day. Dustin Yelp. Double knot seven running in the third spot and really no pressure from behind. He's got about two seconds back to Calvin Caps and Josh Milliken. Jonathan Caps back there as well. All attempting to make something happen, but running out of time in heat race number two because Connor Batterby is down the back straight away for the final time and into turns number three and four a twenty dollar cool payday for winning a heat race Connor Batterby gonna take the checkered flag in heat race number two off the corner we see Matthew Day gonna finish up second Dustin Yout will grab the third and final transfer sending Calvin Caps, Josh Milliken Jonathan Caps, Gregory Frazier Peyton Branch and Robert Burks into our LCQ rounds gonna follow us Two heat races in. Hope you're all having a good time. We hope all is doing well out there. Hope everybody feeling well. There's uh, been a lot of sickness out there. We certainly uh, been keeping up with that. And it's kept us very, very busy out here in the broadcast world. And we're really, uh, no, we've been out here. So what are we doing? I think we're doing 19 shows this week between the Full Velocity Racing Network coverage between three different teams out there doing a lot of work. So appreciate all the guys' efforts. Appreciate all of you out there there that watch and support what we do and hope you're having a good time we'll have some fun and get settled in it's been a long night of racing here on the network ahead as we look to the starting lineup for heat race number three voyage trucking starting lineup will look like this on the pole with car number 11 that is trey jones with the number 03 alongside of colby collins in row number two with the number 45 we find travis montgomery with the number 55 of cody myers alongside in row number three, the number 05 is Tanner Garcia with the number 98 of Will Smith to the outside of row number three. Ryan Smitherman with card number 46 will start seventh with Dean Lloyd with card number nine rolling off in position number eight. Our final row will find Austin Neubauer with card number 23 and Jake Upchurch with card number 24 making up our 10 starters here for heat race number three. We hope all is doing well out there as a... Keep an eye on some chat on what's going on out there in the chat box and stuff coming to me privately as well as trying to do the best we can. I, I see Pat's out there saying top of the evening. Yeah, definitely evening now. I, I see uh, Betty McNeil out there. Thank you, Betty, for, for tuning in and watching us. And said Tubbs is out there. Tubbs, the entertainer. Tubbs throwing us some 700 stars. Tubbs, we appreciate you. We're 750. We'll talk about stars here in between our heat races. We'll tell you how they help us out here at the network. Well, let's go under the iRaceGuyFlag.com. Green flag, Trey Jones will lead us off of turn number two now on the opening lap of this one. We've seen a lot of the 11 car over the last couple of years. We've seen him on a Wednesday night at the Dirt Oil Racing League, a former winner of Wednesday Night Street Fight. So Trey Jones aboard car number 11. Going to chase the 0-3 of Colby Collins as Colby will cross the start finish line. He will lead lap number Coming one around. over Jones Myers. Travis Montgomery around the wrong way in the number 45. It looks like we will stay green here. So our, no, there's the yellow flag. Yellow, yellow, yellow. I thought we may stay green there, but yellow comes out. Montgomery around in car number 45, and I think that... Almost a little help. Had a little help. Yeah, I thought he had help. He was up high. There's somebody got a little uh, connection issue in there. It looks like the 55 of Cody Myers got to the side of him. So there's a story there for our second yellow flag of the night. First one here in heat race number three. A tough break for Travis Montgomery aboard car number 45 as you're going to slow it on down here and get behind the, the iRacing.com Chevrolet Silverado safety car. Safety truck, I should say. Truck in third. Go right around. And I'm just, chat's been just busy and loaded. I really appreciate that. I, I see Eric Jones out there talking about Eldora. Is that our buddy EJ? It certainly is, isn't it? Cody Butcher out there. Hey, guys. The Southern All-Star late model event. Going to be live on here. It's going to be live on the Full Velocity Racing Network. Yes, it certainly will. I believe that the time for that now has been pushed to 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. So... By about 25 minutes, I know Todd Stanton's been busy working with uh, Mr. Dwayne Keith, trying to get the Southern All-Stars all set. I know they uh, been trying to connect all day, and they just kept missing each other. So they are working. They are efforting. And we're certainly hoping you're going to get that underway here shortly. As I said, that's part two of a big triple header there tonight. And then Jack and myself, we're going to join my buddy Jeff McConey. We're going to head over to Speed51.com. Speedzoo.com Modified Series presented by... 
East West Promotions will be ready to rock and roll there live on Speed 51. So hope you'll join us over there. Is that is going to be a great time? It is EJ Jones out there. EJ, uh, get the fireball cake ready for me. Mike King's out there rooting on the Earnhardt colors. Earnhardt colors are never a bad thing, are they? We're Earnhardt fans. I'll tell you what, off to number four, let's return under the art racing eye flag.com. Green flag, Colby Collins. Going to lead Trey Jones back to green with Cody Myers and now Dean Lloyd in the number nine car going to be in the outside of number two so we'll race down the back chute into turn number three and four the starter already after putting the green out going to put two obstacle sticks down two more trips around the Eldora Speedway out of turn number four for the race leader car number zero three Colby Collins Trey Jones right there in car number 11 all breathing down his neck and down to the inside can Trey Jones find the lead over in turn number three he'll drive it in deep Maybe sell it cheap as they'll slide up the hill. Collins are crossing over back to the low side as we put the white flag in the air. One more trip around. Said twenty dollars to win a heat race. So there is something to play here. On the line is Jones and Collins make a little contact in turn number one. Eleven car will sprinkle out to the race lead. Call that two car lengths now at a three and four. Collins will try again. One more hail Mary through the corner back of the throttle. Trey Jones is going to win heat race number three. Over Colby Collins, Cody Myers will finish up third. Dane Lloyd, Will Smith, Jake Upchurch, Travis Montgomery, Austin Neubauer, Ryan Spillerman, and Tanner Garcia. Going to round out our field there. So those drivers go off into our LCQs. But Jones, Collins, and Myers will go off into our main events as so definitely see some uh, chatter going on in the chat. I'm uh, hearing it in the, the race chat as well. And I guess somebody's saying they're a, a top-shelf broadcaster. So uh, I, I welcome them to come in and give it a try and create a company out there because I know the bar out there is really, really high. Hope you guys enjoy what we do. We do this seven nights a week, many shows a week, many clients are doing a great event here this evening. Certainly appreciate Justin McNeil bringing us out for the Snake 50, presented by Designer Reptiles and Stevensville Starter and Electric. Thank those guys so much for being the presenting sponsors of this one. Heat race number four is on the speedway now, so let's take a look at our Voyles trucking starting lineup. On the pole with car number 33 will be Charles Cosper with the number 96 alongside of Trey Smitherman. In row number two, the number 188 from DTJ, that is Wes Wigan. With Jaron Hosanga alongside with car number 77. Zach Tesh will start 50 years in car number 17 with Dylan Adams alongside Dylan in car number 248. Seven starter, the number 32 of Billy Caps with Casey Lyles alongside with car number 27, Parker Branch. Parker is in car number 10. He will start ninth with Blake Clark in car number 88. That is our 10 cars for our starting lineup. The top three will go to the main event. We'll go eight more laps around in heat race number four and 20 cool dollars on the line for a heat race win. The iRacing.com safety truck is in. iRacingGuyFlag.com green flag going up in the air. Let's go racing for eight more laps around the Eldora Speedway. Charles Cosper, Troy, Trey Smith will be the first two cars. The exit to number two in 96 car. He'll work his way down to the bottom of the 33. 33 is Cosper. He leads him off the corner of Smitherman down low in that white 95 car. He'll go to the low side, get really loose to the corner. We got some cars bouncing off each other. 17 car was certainly bounced around in that one. So was Wigan in the 188 car. West got a little bit of a touch to the side as well as we keep it under the green. Cosper continues to lead over Smitherman. Now the yellow flag on the speedway because these guys got all crossed up and out of shape and think somebody may have run our room so they started putting the yellow flag out yellow 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 first one here in heat race number four the problem is that the yellow flags in the heat well you run out of time to to make stuff happen and you know transfer yourself on into the a main right of your heat you want to avoid lcqs and i believe we may be playing alphabet soup here tonight so you want to stay out of that chaos if you can and necessary these guys will have some work to do yes and i i definitely saw a car bouncing a 17 car was all over off the outside wall, came all the way down the track, broadside of two or three more cars, washed back up, collected two or three more. He was all over the place out there, but chat is busy. I see 3D racing out there, throwing us some stars. Let me tell you about the stars out there on Facebook, gang. 
They, they, they are donations made to the network. They help us keep our broadcast rates really low and affordable. Let us come out here and do things like we're doing tonight. Keep us very accessible. They keep us out there live on Facebook and YouTube and Twitch TV and many other things that we do out there. We appreciate those. You want to be a part of our team. You support what we do at the network. You support Sim Racing. Throw us some stars out there live on Facebook tonight. We would certainly appreciate that. EJ Jones is out there watching us. Street Stock wish he was in it. Freddie Jones is out there rooting on Trey Jones. Stephen Black is out there. Mike King still out there. Angel's out there. Mallory Knight out there watching. Rooting on the number 96 card. Got Troy Kettier out there. Is it Kettler? Kettier? Can't really see. Too small over here. Beat the Black Flag 17 card, Troy. I, yeah, I can go with that one. Yeah. You're way out of control and wrecked half the field. There was Zach Tesher, card number 617. Get out of shape, but it looks like we are doubled up and ready to go back to racing here as five laps now complete. Heat number four. Charles Cosper, Trey Smitherman, Billy Caps, and Jared Hasanga. Hasanga, the number 77 car. He restarted in the top three, but looks like he may be on the upside of that. As we head into the turns number three and four, the 88 car makes a big move to the low side. 188 at West Wigan. Blake Clark back there, his number 88, making time for the bottom as well. As we exit to number four, two laps remaining. The race leader is the number 33 of Charles Cosper. He is off the back straight away. Shrey Smitherman running in the second spot in car number 96. He's got a gap between himself and this good race going on back here for third. Looks like Wes Wigan may have it right now. Him and Billy Caps and Blake Clark having a really good race back here for the third spot. Off of turn number four is Blake Clark, the 88 car. A couple of 88s out there. Blake Clark running in third is we have the white flag in the air. One more trip around for the number 33 of Charles Cosper, who is down the back stretch in the turns number three and four. And 20 cool dollars awaits. Charles Cosper wins heat race number four. Second for Trey Smitherman. Blake Clark will finish up third. Setting Billy Caps, Jared Heisenga. Parker Branch, Zach Tesh, Wes Wigan, Casey Lyles, Dylan Adams go into our LCQs that will follow us as we are now four heat races in. And we now begin with heat race number five, our final heat of the night. We'll move in to the LCQs. Casey Brunson throwing us some stars. My buddy, my, my favorite driver at all of iRacing is Mr. Casey Brunson. I tell you what. Missing my street stock buddies watching street stock racing here at Eldora, but I know you guys are out there doing well. I'm sure you guys are probably headed to another race somewhere else. I know you guys at all. So appreciate you all for watching. Race number five beginning to assemble on pit road. And here's our Voyles trucking starting lineup on the pole with number 37. Will be Jeffrey Abbey with the number five alongside of Dustin Mooney. In row number two with car number 521. That is Landon Caps with the number 19 of Derek Pennington to the upside of row number two. In the third row, Colby Quellen with car number 21 with Austin Waters alongside in car number 47. Josh Carter will start seventh. He is in car number 25 with Colton English, the number 34 flanking okay. him. And I believe that will be eight starters there. So eight cars will take the call for our fifth and final heat race of the night. We'll go eight laps around. We'll take three more drivers into the A main. We'll put 15 into the main event. $150 to win. So that is a cool purse, a cool cash payout. A better way to spend a, a Thursday night with everybody kind of all this kind of quarantined in and a lot of the country not able to even leave their house at that rate with stay at home orders and Hope you all are enjoying some coverage, some racing, kind of a an escape from reality, if you will. We're certainly glad you've uh, joined us here tonight on Full Velocity with uh, Phil Lacasse. Jack Jewett, my control guy, the best in the business, going to take care of me all night long as we had a couple of races to do. But off of turn number four, I race the guy flag.com. Green flag goes to the air. Jeffrey Abbey, Dustin Mooney going to be our first two to exit turn number one and two. And I'm keeping an eye on the 521 of Landon Caps. I've seen that name a lot on my screen the last couple of weeks. I know he's got a lot of speed in the number 521 as a five car will break himself out to the lead off to number four. That is Mooney. He's on an outside pole. He will lead lap one. Abby and now Landon Caps going to go at it for position number two over in turns number one and two. 521 up the hill. 37 gets to the back of him. Abby giving a good shot. Josh Carter is number 25 going to enter the mix as well. Running in the fourth spot, but that's on the outside looking in as we only got three that go to the main event. 
Only the top three come out of our heats in the five car of Dustin Mooney Lee exits turn number two with the race lead. Landon Caps running in second, but he is about, oh, call that three car lengths in closing. He's going to take a shot to the low side and turns over three and four. He'll wash it up the hill and, oh, I'm sure if they make contact there. That's pretty dang close. The five car will hold on to the race lead of Mooney, but Caps will come back to the low side and 37 car of Abby. He's got that thing digging as well. Now he's digging, he's into the wall, and he's into the 521 car. Caps almost gets turned around. That's some big driving stuff going on over here. 21 car now. Colby Quillen will come to the mix. Can Colby take over the third spot from Landon Caps as Dustin Mooney will lead the way in half home here for the books. Four laps remaining in heat race number five, and the five car is alive in turn number three with 1.6 seconds the advantage down between himself and and the number 37 of Jeffrey Abbey running in second. The race is back here for third. That should be fine. The, the Caps number 521. Colby Quellen in the number 21 car. Austin Waters in the 47. Trying to enter that mix as well, but he's a little flashback from them too. Straight away heading into turn number three and four. We are going to see two laps. Shea Manning pops. Go six. Go down for the driver of car number five. Dustin Mooney started in the second spot outside pole. Had a good start, got out to the lead, and he's let them all so far as he's in the back straightaway. He's got a mile and a half to get it done, or one more mile to get it done, because he's in turn number three and four. The starter got unfurled, the white flag up in the air. One more trip around this legendary half mile in Rossburg, Ohio, for the driver of car number five, Dustin Mooney. He is in turn number one and two. He leads by two seconds. Over Jeffrey Abbey, Landon Caps right there, peeking down his neck as well. But they are in transfer spots. They are right where they need to be as we are in three and four. For the final time, the checkered flag goes in the air. If Dustin Mooney the win in heat race number five, Jeffrey Abbey will finish up for two. And Landon Caps grab that third and final transfer spot over Kobe Quellen, Austin Waters, Colton English, Josh Carter, Derek Pennington, and that will be our eight cars there. So heat races are done, and we're going to watch for the magic of iRacing will take us to next, as I believe we have on the LCQs. Call it a D main or a C main. Where are we popping us off to? Into the D main. We're going to play Alphabet Soup here tonight, it looks like. The D main is going to be 10 laps around with the top four advancing on into the C main. We had 11 drivers at the ready here. Let's take a quick look at our Voyles Trucking starting lineup for the D-Main on the pole with the Dirt Track Junkies, number 188. That'll be Wes Wigan with the number 19 of Derek Pennington alongside. In row number two with car number 71, that is Corey Range with the number 15 of Robert Burks to the outside of that second row. Ryan Smitherman will start fifth. Ryan in car number 46 with a 27 car of Casey Lyles alongside. Like Travis Elliott will start next. He's in car number 78 with Tanner Garcia in the numbers 05 in the 248 of Dylan Adams. Let's take it out of there. It looks like the I rakes and uh, the custom lineups and starts and LCQs didn't work for uh, Mr. McNeil here tonight. It's like I racing has had a long week, I'll tell you. A lot of influx of new drivers, new clients, a lot of race servers going up and Things aren't working properly. And if you know why racing at all, that shouldn't surprise too terribly many people. Is uh, Things seem to have a chance to not work more times than they do. So they were hoping for three LCQs, but it's going to be sorted out into a D and a C and a B, and they're going to operate as alphabet soup. We'll, we'll, we'll keep pace here as what is going on is uh, we go Wes Wigan on the pole for the D main with Derek Pennington. You know, thinking... What we got out there, Jack? I count should probably have nine cars in a lineup. We got nine out there. We're missing a couple. I know McNeil's not there. I know Humberding's not there. 71. A 71 car of Corey Range was supposed to start on the inside of a second row. Not joining us. So Corey may be missing out on his chance to race for all well, $150 to win purse or maybe a an award there, like the hard charger award, is going to pay fifty dollars, twenty-five dollars to the thirteenth place finisher from Patriot Racing. Going to be a donation, five dollars to each of the second through fifth starters or fifth finishers tonight, courtesy of Dirt Track Junkies. And we are through the heats now as we move to the D main, and we got the iRacingGuy flag.com green flag in the air. 
West Wigan going to be the first one to head us into turn number one and two. The number 188 is... Apologize, my I'm see if I can't mute my phone for y'all. This thing's starting to drive me crazy. Is uh, the network definitely busy? As we've got some action off of turn number two. Nineteen car of Pennington got turned around on the low side. He lost a little bit of time, and that may really cost him some spots there. Is uh, drop him back all the way now to the eighth position. Is West Wigan going to lead the way over Dylan Adams, Ryan Smitherman, Robert Burks now going out of the bubble top four. Going off into the C main, and we're laying on each other over in three and four. There's some good hard racing there, throwing some mud. and A three deep battle off of turn number four, 248 of Dylan Adams is down low as we have a yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow on the speedway on lap number three of the D main. So slow it on down. It looks like I believe it was Travis oh, yeah. Elliott, number 78. They got turned around. There's a subject of our yellow flag. We're in the D main. I'm going to take a breath here really quick. The 05 also got a piece of this one, Tanner Garcia. So they were both at the back of the field. They got toned around. They got work to do. Four laps into a 10 lap D main here on the Full Velocity Racing Network. All right, the lights are out around the speedway. Let's get the D-Main back on our way. We're going to have six laps complete. Wes Wigan will lead Robert Burks, Ryan Smitherman. Dylan Adams going to restart fourth. Those are the transfer spots right now off turn number four. iRacingiFlag.com. Green flag up in the air. Let's get out of here. Running out of time. We're going to have three laps to be in. And next time by can the DTJ 188 Wes Wigan. Can he run himself into the main event? Dylan Adams gets way loose at 248. He hooks. Oh, Wow. 46 car of Smitherman went for a ride. 42 car. Holy smokes, that thing was up as a 46 car up above the wall in the fence of Dylan Adams' help there. We have a yellow on the speedway. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Holy crap, that was a big hit. Oh my goodness. That's enough to knock you in the next week. Holy cow. Go back and take a look at that one there. The J Max Straw Pro Velocity is the replay. The 248 car got loose and just hung it right to the right rear. That was a, just a big, big hit. Wow. Can to imagine that car is just completely just jumped out. Man. And, and no, Stephen Black received through put fell to unacceptable level. No, it didn't happen. I tell you, it did. I, I took a drink right there, taking a breath here under the yellow flag, as we normally tend to do. Is a uh, one voice tough to do here sometimes, and you know, trying to wait and learn a lot of the names and all this and that. See, Rich Martov was out there, and if he put any comment in there, but see, good to see Rich out there following. No way he survived that one. He was way up there, wasn't he? He was way above the fence. Was Ryan Smitherman, as it looks like we're going to get a green white checker attempt to finish the D main, and it's going to be Wes Wigan, Robert Burks, Tanner Garcia, now Derek Pennington, the number 16, going to cling on to that final transfer spot. We got Casey Lyles behind him, Dylan Adams, a 248. Dylan's still rolling, but Ryan Smitherman's number 46 car. Uh, it's on pit road. It's in a basket. That thing got junked. So did Travis Elliott, Corey Range. 
Looks like he started here the D-Main, but not going to see the main event. As we exit to number four, green, white, checker to settle it. Wes Wigan and Robert Burks will lead us off of turn number two and down the back straight away and we'll see who is going to be these top four as the 05 car jumps out into the third spot that'll be garcia and then lyle's number 27 it appears is going to jump or is that adams adams going to run in the middle. we're three wide for the final transfer off turn number four white flag goes up into the sky west william going to lead the way over robert burks garcia is holding on for third the drama is who is going to finish fourth it may be Dylan Adams with a 248. He has been a wrecking ball through the back of the field. He may finish third. Give the win in D main to West Wigan. Robert Burks for second. Give Tanner Gar give it Dylan Adams a third spot and an eyelash over Tanner Garcia. They will make the main event. Derek Pennington, Casey Lyles, Ryan Smith, and Corey Range, Travis Elliott. Their nights will be over after the D, so we'll send those drivers home, and we are going to shift gears toward the C main. That was exciting, wasn't it? Wow, that was a lot going on right there. Letting iRacing do the beauty of getting itself switched over and giving the starting lineup. There we go. It was uh, taking a minute. iRacing is working really slow, I'm telling you. But let's look at our Voyals trucking starting lineup for the C main on the pole with car number 10 will be Parker Branch with the number 25 alongside of Josh Carter. In a row number two, the number 81 is Jeffrey Hauser with the number 31 alongside of Gregory Frazier. The number 45 is Travis Montgomery. He will start fifth with the number 17 of Zach Tesh to the upside of row number three. The fourth row, we find the 34 of Colton English with the number 30 of Sean Graham to the outside of row number four. In the fifth row, the 14 is Peyton Branch with the number 23 of Austin Neubauer to the outside. Wes Wigan, our D-Main winner, will start 11th in the number 188. The 15 of, of Robert Burks, the 248 of Dylan Adams, and the 05 of Tanner Garcia. That's going to be our 14 car field. The C-Main going to go 15 laps around the top four. Going into our 30 lap main event as things are happening fast. The chat box has been furious, and you know, we were working hard at the network all afternoon trying to get all these shows and things all kind of sorted out and underway. And not sure what's going on for the Summit All Stars there. So I'm trying to peek on that chat. Not sure what the update is, but at least somebody can pass it along out there watching the chat. No, it's been very busy there. I see. Uh, Tim Hill out there saying, I sent the notification to get to it, and hopefully you did. I think you followed us this week. And if a, a follow, Tim, will certainly get you onto our network. Looks like you can follow something else, too, in a little while as well. So good to see you out there, Tim Hill, watching us. Steven Black's out there still chatting away. Murtaugh's out there. Ricky Barrett checking in. Where is Corey Quellen? I believe Corey is going to be in the B main if I see here right on my lineup as things are clicking over fast and furious a lot of stuff kind of going on in the network world today and we come off turn number four let's go under the eye racing eye flag.com green flag 15 laps around the c main we're going to take the top four into the b so still a lot of racing left to go and we got a 30 lap main event that's going to make up i guess the snake bike 50 if you include the b as they are wrecking off of turn number two, and we've got some hard driving, hard ass racing, and Team Hard Motors puts yellow flag number one in the C main, comes out on the opening lap of this one. So we'll slow it on down. We'll give you a J Max Strong. Full velocity is the replay. We'll take a look at that. I want to pause for the cost for a second, take a sip of a drink, and come back here live on your source of esports racing. in the call. We're in the C main here live at the Eldora Speedway.
All right, the lights are out around the Eldora Speedway. We're going to have four laps complete. Let's get the C-Main back on our way with Parker Branch leading Jeffrey Hauser, Travis Montgomery, and Josh Carter are going to be our top four as somebody. I'm hoping that wasn't Jack that left in there. He's talking to Jeff Brown over Irish, the guy flag. Hope he's doing well as well as we go back under the green flag. Four laps complete now, and we got some racing going on through one and two. They're three deep over there. Off the corner, 14 cars up high. The 05 was stuck in the middle. 05 is off the wall. Garcia, black car in the bottom, I believe, was that the, it wasn't 14, but 30 car of Shane Graham as we are wrecking again in turn number three and four. We're wrecking. We aren't racing. We got our Team Hot Motorsports yellow flag number two. And it was a 14 there, car. Of Peyton Branch, who was up into the side of the 81 of Jeffrey Hauser. So the two of them to get together, they went around. Looks like we had a bad blink out there from a 10 car of Parker Branch. So there's the story of caution flag number two. We are in the C main, and you are watching us here live on the Full Velocity Racing Network, your source for esports racing. Big truck out there. Uh, we got an issue here because the yellow flag is displayed on the racetrack and we got cars lapping around the speedway. Oh, there so it is. catch it. Yeah, had to catch the pace truck, wherever it was. Here's where nine laps complete. So this one is definitely peculiar and strange. And not even the broadcasters, I think even the drivers had a clue. What was going on is the top four will transfer on to the B main. Mr. Salter, top four from the C main will go in. And okay, saying the C main shouldn't be a thing. They are always full of people that can't drive. Well, depending on the field strength of the league you may be in, is this a special event put on tonight? Snake Bite 50 presented by Designer Reptiles. $150 to win. Also going to thank Stevensville Starter and Electric, the $50 hard charger for our 30 lap main event. Then it will follow us here. We'll, we'll get to the main event. I promise you that. But the lights are out around the Eldora Speedway. And now it looks like with 10 laps going to be complete of 15, Travis Montgomery is going to lead West Wigan back to the green flag with Gregory Frazier and Tanner Garcia. That is going to be our top four. Keep an eye on the 81 of Hauser. Jeffrey Hauser going to make it work on the 81. I'll tell you what. Watched him at practice, and he was slipping and sliding down on the low side, trying to get it done as he is under the 30 in the 05 now over in turns number three and four as we exit turn number four. Let's put 11 laps on the scoreboard. What do you say? Montgomery leading the way over West Wigan. That's a couple of guys. Some dirt track junkies doing a good job out front running in one, two. Gregory Frazier, number 31 car. Gregory running in the third spot in the battle for the fourth position. Jeffrey Hauser and Tanner Garcia. Sean Graham is back there as well. But only the top four go off into our B main. And you got to be to the B if you want to get to the A tonight. So we got to get it done. Running out of time this time around because we are in turn number two. And down the back straightaway, the 45 car of Montgomery leads the way. Wes Wigan in the 188. They ride nose to tail, running one, two off turn number four, where the two to go signal has been given. Two more trips around. In the C main for the driver, car number 45, Travis Montgomery, but here comes Wigan, west of the 188, at a thaw off of turn number two to take a peek down to the low side, and he may try that again in three and four. Will he elect to stay up high? You're in a transfer now. No need to gather it up there now as we're racing back here for third as well. Off the corner, white flag in the air. We got Frazier, the number 31, and Jeffrey Hauser having a really good race for third. They are right where they need to be, though, as we are in turn number three and four for the final time. Can Travis Montgomery take down the win in the C main? He's doing a good job so far. He sees a checkered flag, and he will take down the win in the C main. Montgomery over Wigan, Gregory Frazier, Jeffrey Hauser. 
We'll advance on to the B main. We're going to send Sean Graham, Josh Carter, Colton English, Austin Newbauer, Parker Branch, Peyton Branch, Tanner Garcia, Dylan Adams, Zach Tesh, Robert Burks. Those drivers will be done for the evening. It will not advance out of the C main, so that means it is time for the B. And the B main going to go 20 laps around the top. Eight will transfer in to our 30 lap main event. Let's take a peek at our Voiles trucking starting lineup. For the B main, as we head to the speedway now, and on the pole for the B with car number 13, that'll be Daniel Worthington with the number double zero alongside of Calvin Caps. In a row number two with car number nine will be Dane Lloyd with the 32 alongside of Billy Caps. In row number three with car number 21, that'll be Colby Quellen with the number 22 of 32 of Jacob Bailey to the upside of row number three. The number 74 will start seventh. That is Josh Milliken with the number 98 of Will Smith to the upside of row number four. Jared Heizanga will start ninth in the number 77 with the number 47 of Austin Waters to the upside of our fifth row. An 11 starter with the number 20 will be Zachary Clark, Jonathan Caps alongside in car number 36. The number 24 car, that is Jake Upchurch. Jake will start 13th with Travis Montgomery in the number 45. Wes Wiggins, 188. Gregory Frazier in the 31. And Jeffrey Hauser, our transfers from the C main. They go to the B. 17 drivers out there will go 20 laps around with only the top eight. 15. It's 15 drivers. 15 out of 17. So, hey, that's pretty good. We'll, we'll take 15. But only eight will go off into our 30 lap main event. They are gridded. They are over in terms of our three and four. The lights are extinguished atop the iRacing.com Chevrolet safety truck, and he will make that hard left hand turn on into the infield. Exit the fourth turn. Are we going to go this time? Or are we going to go next time by? Next time by. All right. Didn't see the lights on over here. Is don't, there's the one to go signal as the lights go out now. So we were all suspenseful, ready to go for 20 laps. And I guess we get another half mile of. A pacing to do and I want to say Let's welcome you in again to the full velocity racing network want to so where when is the southern all-star series race chase i believe i got word through a chat and don't shoot the messenger here but i believe it's going to be at 9 30 eastern time i believe 9 30 now is the posted time for the southern all-star race at the little speedway no mr Dwayne keith was having a he was overwhelmed with the amount of entries that came in last minute Servers supposed to go up at 7.30, and they certainly did not. So I believe the Southern All-Stars, 9.30 p.m., contact Dwayne Keith. He'll take care of you. They'll get that series all worked out. Partner in crime, Todd Stanton will be over there. As we have a wreck of the opening lap of the V-Main. Yellow, yellow, yellow. We have Carnage in the turn number one and two. We slow it on down already in the B. Looks like a couple of cars may have been involved over there. I believe Austin Waters with the number 47. Double the double to zero. Looks like double zero. Got a really bad start from the outside pole. Calvin Caps got the worst out of that deal. The double zero. So that was a story on the opening lap of the B-Main. We're under a yellow flag on the Full Velocity Racing Network. Your source for esports racing.
All right, we have the pace truck in. iRacingIFlag.com. Green flag returns to the air as we begin lap number five. And we get the race leader up front. Car number 13, Daniel Worthington, Billy Caps, Dane Lloyd, Will Smith, the number 98. That was our top four coming back to the line. But I'm telling you what, I've been watching the 188 of West Wigan. We have seen West do it on the network before. And him trying to drive his way up through the B main into the main event. He is up on the top five. West Wigan now around Colby Quellen put West down a fourth, and he's already around Billy Caps and Dane Lloyd. West Wigan is on. They move to 188, put down West to the second spot. Can he run down the 13 of Dan Worthington, who was in turn number one and two with a good lead, but we are door-to-door -door off a of four for the second spot between Wigan and Dane Lloyd, the number nine. You got Billy Caps back there to 32. Colby Quellen is there. Gregory Frazier. A C main, he's up to the sixth spot. We got Will Smith and Travis Montgomery. Travis holding on to that final transfer right now between himself and Jeffrey Hauser in the number 81. You got Austin Waters there in the 47 car as well. So that's where the bubble spots hit. The approach halfway here in the V. Now eight laps are going on the full velocity racing network scoreboard as we are down the back chute heading into turn number three and four. We are all chasing the race leader, car number 13. Daniel Worthington off of turn number three and four this time, putting eight laps to bed. 12 laps he main in the B main. The 13 doing all the right things right now. Leads by almost a full second over West Wigan. West is a race between himself going on and the number nine car of Dane Lloyd, that red and black machine running in turn number three. But we're going to slow it on down again. Yellow, yellow, yellow on the speedway. Third yellow flag here of the B, or second one of the B. This one's got the 81 of Jeffrey Hauser and the 45 of Travis Montgomery. The 36 of Jonathan Capps involved, as is Calvin Capps. In a double zero, so a big one there, a J-Max strong. Full velocity is the replay. Tells you a story here of our second yellow flag of the B main, live on the Full Velocity Racing Network. Right there, double up. The lights are out. Let's get this B main back to some green flag racing. See who the eight drivers will race in. So tonight's 30 lap main event will be here at the old door of the Snake Bite 50, presented by Reptile Design. Designer Reptiles. Designer Reptiles. I'm going to get that one backwards. Thank those guys for coming out of board here tonight, as is uh, Statesville starters and electric thank those two sponsors for coming on and sponsoring this awesome event the b main is now 12 laps complete we're in terms of our three and four we are all chasing the race leader for him and west wigan lead the way good race going on for third between dane lloyd in the number nine and the number 31 car of gregory frazier greg has been a guy he's been on a mission all night long it feels funny behind and out up into the top four and looking for the third spot off the corner as him in the 32 car. Good race there now. 32. A Billy Caps of the eight. As we will be 15 laps complete this time. And it turns number three and four. And we get a race going on here through the corner as the 31 car under siege to a 98 of Will Smith off of turn number four. The yellow flag in the air. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Now lap 15 complete. A third yellow flag in the B main. We got some cars all wanted up in the corner. Looks like a 21 of Obi Quellen and the 47 of Austin Waters. They are all tore up in the 
Well, for us, that's our third yellow flag of the B main. There, B main, yep, B main, top eight in the main event. So we're there as I forget how to English there for a second. I guess it's time to kind of recalibrate and regroup myself and come back and call the call of these last five laps of the B main at the Eldora Speedway. This is the Full Velocity Racing Network. the lights are out we are going to double up and we are going to be pretty close to bordering on a green white checker here i'm going to be an actual green white checker in regulation time daniel worthington leading west wigan dane lloyd gregory frazier billy caps will smith jared heizanga jacob bailey that's our top eight that's who our chances will be right now we got two more trips to get it done here at the eldora speedway for the b main we are in the back straightaway on the restart, all chasing the number 13 car of Dan Worthington as we are wrecking down the back chute. And I think I saw the nine car get turned around. They are wrecked again. The yellow is out, so that's going to put the B main into overtime right there as they were racing hard for throwing on back off of turn number two. I saw the nine car of Dane Lloyd take a wicked shot to the right. Him and Gregory Frazier got together. So the yellow on the speedway. We will get a green-white checker attempt for the P-Main. We will have a single fire restart, and we'll be right here live to call it as it happens. Keep us here on the Full Velocity Racing Network. All right, getting ready to go back to some green flag racing here at the Eldora Speedway, the B main, the Snake Bait 50. All right, the Eldora Speedway Designer Reptiles, a sponsor here, presenting sponsor for this one, $150 to win our A main, but we still got work to do in the B as we got a green white checker to settle it. And it's going to be Dan Worthington leading West Wigan. I don't think that scoring is right at all. Somebody got a lap back the hard way. That scored the 81 car of Housel, the race lead, but we are wrecking in the back straightaway again. And they're not going to throw the yellow on this one, so the white flag will go up in the air. One more trip around. The leader is the number 13 of Dan Worthington off of turn number two. He's got Will Smith, Wes Wigan, Travis Montgomery racing right down his neck. We're in the third and fourth turn for the final time. A checkered flag would go in the air. In the B main as we're wrecking again off turn number two. And the race winner is going to be Daniel Worthington, Wes Wigan, Travis Montgomery, Billy Caps, Will Smith, Colby Quellen, and I believe going to be Jared Heizanga. They grab the final transfer spot as timing and scoring has got to catch him a reset. And scoring Jeffrey House of the winner. And I don't believe that's completely right. 
but I believe it was about eight cars going off into the game main. So things finishing up there as far as the scoring goes. We'll get it worked out. And there it is clicked over. We got our warm-up before our main event. So what we're going to do next, we're going to take this thing. We'll throw it trackside. We'll pay honor to the greatest nation in the world, the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, Dirty Grass Soul with the playing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh save us that star angled banner yet wave oh the land of the free in the Back here live inside the Eldora Speedway. The Snake Bite 50 about to go to the green flag for 30 laps around. Let's take a look at our Boyle's trucking starting lineup on the pole. The number 48 of James Newborn with the number two of Carter Batterby on the front row. Row number two, the 11 is Trey Jones with the 33 of Charles Cosper to the outside. Dustin Mooney with cut number five starts fifth with the 311 of Justin Holt make up row number three. Matthew Day with cut number 54 and Colby Collins of the 03 start in position number four. This number eight. Ninth start of the 96 is Trey Smitherman with the 37 of Jeffrey Abbey. Coy Pennington will start 11th with cut number 42 with Dustin Yao on the double dot seven. 55 of Cody Myers will start 13th with the 88 of Blake Clark. Landon Caps in the 521. Danny Wilmington, our B main winner with cut number 13, Wes Wigan, Billy Cap, Travis Montgomery, Will Smith, Colby Quellen, Jeffrey Hauser. That is our 20, Toby a Jared Heizanga out there as well. 23 cars around, 30 laps to distance. We're under the uh, racing guy flag.com green flag. Apollo rush the lineup. They gave us five minutes of warm up, but they switched it ahead early on us. So we're prepared for that. We have a Right away on the opening lap for the feature event, we've already got a yellow on the speedway. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Right in the opening lap, a 30 lap feature event. We exit turn number four. We'll catch the pace truck for the first time in our feature event. We'll take a look at the full velocity as the replay. Brought to you by jmaxstrong.com as we take a look. See, Jack will take a look. Jack's the best control guy in the business. He will find where the yellow flag may have happened and. Or not. Nothing. You know what, Jack? I lied. I think that came out from race control. There may not be a wreck there to look at. I think the call was a straggly start. So they, they, they wasted there the opening lap. And that's the way it's going to sit now. So 23 drivers taking the green flag. We'll go 30 laps around. And apologize there again. That was whoever was asking about who won the B main. I was just as confused because it is scored house of the winner, but they fixed that post race with a black flag. It was Dan Daniel Warlington, but number 13. He won the B main. Jeffrey Hauser was scored eighth, so he transferred in to the main event. As 
read it here through some of the chat. It's got the Smithmans out there representing for from Trey, the number 96. So cool to see the families out there watching. Is Trying to get this thing all real. It looks like we're going 30 green flag laps in the future, so timing and scoring will certainly uh, jump around a little bit here as we work around under the yellow as everything, the scoring will all kind of disfreeze when the yellow comes out, so they'll all stay in their position. So the running order I'm seeing may be not the accurate running order we see on the screen per se. So off to number four. Let's try it again. I race the guy flag.com, green flag of the air, James Bubard. And Carter Batterby with cut number two will lead off to number two with now Trey Jones of the number 11. Trey looking to make it happen. We have a yellow already. Yellow, yellow, yellow on the second lap now in turn number one and two. And we throw it out in the air once again. So having some issues getting the snake bike 50, 30 lap main event underway here at Eldora. We'll slow it down and we'll take a look. See back there and see if we can't find. See Racing Network instant up. replay, but double not seven of Yount involved. Dustin Yount was a double not double not seven. It's turned around, and who helped? Him? Twenty-one car got into him there with twenty-one of Colby Quellen into the side. So there's the story. Our second. Yellow flag of our 30 lap main event. They'll be all green flag laps only. That's how we'll call them here live on the Full Velocity Racing Network, your source for esports racing. All right, back here live on the Full Velocity Racing Network. We are getting ready to go back to green. We have two laps of 30 complete at the Eldora Speedway. James Mooborn leads over Trey Jones, Carter Batterby, Dustin Mooney, Charles Cosper, our top five. We go back under green, $150 to the winner tonight. And who is going to take that whole prize home? We have to work it out and see. We'll hope to talk to these guys post-race. It'll depend on the hour it is, a minute on the clock. I know we're going to be up against... A second show here beginning at 9.30, so we may have to jump right from here to jump over there as well. Also, if we do that, we'll apologize. And we'll catch up with all the gang over here at some point and do some post-race stuff for them. But we exit. In the terms of a one and two, James Mooborn will lead the way. Trey Jones, Carter Battery, Cosper back there in the number nine, 33 car trying to mix it up as we single file. And I think that may be the way to help out. Get some green flag laps in on a very slick racetrack. They had no track reset. This has worked in since practice, so this place is really treacherous. It is very slickery. We are wrecking in turn number one and two. The leader up against the wall as well. He keeps it straight, but the rest of the field did not. Yellow, yellow, yellow on the speedway. Lap number five going on the scoreboard, and the number three car went around. Three car around. I believe that will be Colby or Collins of the or no, three car. Yeah, Colby Collins there going around, and who was the one? Help, help from the number 96 car. And that was Trey Smitherman who got into him, hit the wall. He had come down. He, he hooked him. We are five laps complete on the Full Velocity Racing Network. We're going to come back with a single file restart, and thankfully for these fellows. Hopefully they'll get it together. We'll see some green flag racing. We'll see some good stuff. We hope you'll stay tuned to the Full Velocity Racing Network, your source for eSports racing.
All right, the lights are out around the Eldora Speedway. Let's get ready to go with our restart here. James Mooborn will lead the way over Trey Jones, Carter Vanamy, Charles Cosper, Dustin Mooney hammered down on number five. We'll go racing here at Eldora. We put five laps complete. We're all green flag laps for our feature event. We work off the exit of turn number two. We're going to chase the race leader who is having a a little bit of a blippy down in the back chute. James Mooborn, the number 48. Trey Jones and Carter Vanamy. That is a good race going on for second. They're off of turn number four as the timing and scoring all reset. These caution laps don't count. They haven't fixed this completely here. And so I race leader. again. It's showing the wrong leader, too. The 03 car, Colby Collins, somehow got put in the race lead, and that certainly is not correct. So they'll have to probably black flag him and get him all figured out and say waved him around the pace car that really screwed up the scoring. It is James Mooborn leading the way with Carter 48. Carter Batterby is there in second. 48 car to the inside. That's a good race over to three and four. Let's pick that one up. Mooborn in that black 48 car down low. Batterby up high in the deuce. Mooborn will slide up the hill. He'll make a love tap and some love to the outside wall. Batterby will come back to the bottom. What these guys, I can hear the race chat. It's a slickery surface. These guys are really having a, a struggle holding on to these race cars. And doing a good job. Mooborn will lead the way off turn number two. And now a change for second. As Jones in the oh. number 11 car will jump to the second spot. As we have a yellow flag on the speedway. Yellow, yellow, yellow. As we now hit lap number nine of a 30 lap main event. We'll get the scoring all reset. Because that old three car needed to be at the tail. They'll put them there 37. now. We'll get that one all set up and fixed in the 37 car involved in this one. Of Jeffrey Abbey tried to ride the wall, tried to get up on the wall, tried to go back to the old NR2 got three glitch where you launched the wall and you ride up in the air for a little while. Well, it didn't happen right there for the 37 car. He's the caution. Yellow flag number three. We're working lap number nine. The Snake Bite 50 here live at the Eldora Speedway. All right, we are back here live on the Full Velocity Racing Network, getting ready to go green, a single fire restart. The lights are off around the speedway and on the pace truck off turn number four. Pace truck is in. We hit the loud pedals down. Let's go back to green. James Mooborn will lead Carter Vanamy, Trey Jones, Charles Casper, Cosper, and Dustin Moody at number five. That is going to be our top five as we ride off turn number two, all single file, all rim riding up there, ripping the lip, running the cushion. Is there a cushion left out there to even run? We'll wait and see as we now put 10 laps of 30 complete off the quarter. And James Newborn was really good tonight in practice, had a good qualifying time, won his heat race, picked up $20 in cash for the heat win, and he'll lead the way off of turn number two. Better be running up high there as well. The 11 of Jones is going to be a a very tricky surface to pass on. They may see these guys ride nose to tail for a little while. There's number three and four. We'll see if the outside rusts up enough to begin the, maybe bring a slider line back in here later on. We're going to keep an eye also on the hard charger award. It's $50 from the hard charger tonight to from Statersville, Starter and Electric. And we look out there right now on the hard charger. If we scored it now, looks like be from 23rd up to 17th, I believe, for... Jared Heizanga, number 77. So I believe that's where we sit right now. That, of course, is very much open to change, and we had a lot of racing to go, and we're approaching now halfway home, working lap number 13, racing in turn number three and four. Trey Jones is up high, and that's a five-car way down to the low side off the corner there. Is that, that's Cosper in the 33. Is there way down the low side? They're so deep down there, I can't see the cars going out of my view, so... Let's go in car with the 33 of Charles Cosper as he works his way into turn number three now, riding in the fourth spot aboard that 33 machine. Mooborn continues to lead over Batterby, Trey Jones, Cosper, Dustin Mooney riding in the fifth spot with car number five, but he's got his hands full. He may lose the fifth spot to Justin Holt. 
311 goes around him, as does Matthew Day in the 54. So the five car Amoni slips up a bit, puts the big Texan Justin Holt. In the top five, the number 311, we know Justin Holt well. We've seen him a lot in the street stocks. We put halfway on the board, 15 of 30. For the snake bite 50 tonight at the Eldora Speedway, got to thank uh, Justin McNeil. He put this great event together. Got to thank the sponsors for all coming aboard. Thank all of you for watching. A lot of racing, some names. I haven't seen a lot of these names before. Racing for $150 to win. And we're going to race back to the yellow flag again because we have a yellow on the speedway with lap number 17 going out of the scoreboard. Yellow, yellow, yellow. We slow it on down. J-Max Journey, Full Velocity Instant Replay. will uh, tell 96. the story of Colby Quellen involved, the 96 car of Trey Smitherman also getting a piece of this one. So there's the story. The fourth yellow flag, a 30 lap main event. There it is. Colby Quellen involved with Trey Smitherman. That's the yellow. We'll come back here live with the call. 17 a laps of 30 on the board on the Full Velocity Racing Network. All right, the lights around the speedway is said working off there here, trying to get some things happening as we're going to go back to green with third laps to go in the main event. James Mooborn will lead. Carter Batterby, Trey Jones, Charles Cosper, Justin Holt going to be our top five. iRacingIFlag.com. Green flag goes back in the air. Let's go at it as we've got ours all over the place out there. It looks like Landon Caps of 521 was out of line somehow, some way, and I'll put the end of the longest line there as well. There's a yellow flag now going to throw back on the speedway. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Around the Eldora Speedway now 18 laps complete. Team Hot Motorsports yellow flag number five in our feature event. And if you can't find where the yellow flag may be in this one as well as these guys with their hands full. Hear the word dirty slider involved, Jack, so you may have something to look at there. A 54 of Matthew Day was involved in this one. This one maybe uh hearing the word dirty slider through chat, so that's what we may see. All right, the lights are out. The green flag goes back in the air. 18 laps complete. Just watching these guys try to get some of their timing and scoring figured out. 
and they waved off that green right away. So that puts the pace car back out there. We're going to ride it under yellow here for a little while now. 19 laps on the scoreboard. Uh, inexperience with the administration there. i got to thank uh, Justin McNeil for, for putting this one together. But there's been some aggressive driving. There's guys lining up out of place, getting a lot of people confused, myself included. We'll let them all get reeled up. We'll get ready to rock and roll for a restart. We'll break back in. Now 19 laps on the full velocity racing scoreboard live here at the Eldora Speedway. All right, the lights are out. Looks like scoring going to be an issue again. Looks like the 40, or 37 car, Jeffrey Abbey, was put to the end of the longest line. But whatever reason, it's scoring him as a race leader. I race and doing a great job as usual. But the race leader is going to be the 48 of James Mooborn. Let's go back to green. It's only the deuce of Connor Batterby, Trey Jones in the 11, Charles Cosper, Justin Holt, the 311, Dustin Mooney in the 5, Blake Clark, Wes Wigan. Jared Heizanga and Cody Myers is going to be our top 10. He's in car 55. They're running in 10th, but we are in the west side of the speedway. Turn number three and four. We're going to put 20 laps complete of a 30 lap main event. Mooborn will lead the way, and he's got two car legs there over Batterby as we work off the east end now off turn number one and two. These cars all stuck up high. EJ Jones, I see you said out there, looks like Eldora hasn't changed a bit. No, they, they broke this place after the first update with iRacing's dirt. And, it's never gone back to good racing since. They've tried to push the lip up high, but you can see in the street stock, it's certainly still a challenge for sure. As Batterby throws a big slider, one and two slides up the hill, let Mooborn come back to the low side in the 48. So 48 versus two for the race lead now in turn number three. And James in the outside wall. Carter going to go back to the low side. They'll door bang. The two car gets out of shape. It's his foot in it. Arcs it into the corner and... I don't know how they didn't spin. I thought the 48 was going to the parking lot. Good hands driving by both as they continue to dazzle up front here for the lead. Corners of the wall. He is on two wheels. He will lose the lead. He will lose more. As the Jones 11 car goes around, as is the 33 of Cosper. So put now Batterby and the Deuce back to fifth as we have a yellow flag on the racetrack. Yellow, yellow, yellow now 24 laps here on the board 24 laps in and jack's telling me to get the selfie stick ready so jack what do you got for me here with the replay 07. double oh seven and this is a tubs buddy so we gotta talk about dustin you out here he goes into the corner goes in gets loose spins around all by his selfie and we call this the full velocity racing network selfie stick because that's when you spin out by yourself you want to get yourself on TV, not the way you want to do it, because Phil and the gang are going to give you the selfie stick, and everybody give a collective hey, hey. to Dustin Yow, the double dot seven, even Jeff Brown with my flag getting involved. Yellow flag will leave number seven of the main event, live in the Eldora Speedway on the Full Velocity Racing Network.
All right, get ready to go. Green flag racing off turn number four. Put the loud pedal down. Green flag back in the air. James Melbourne. Going to lead Trey Jones, Charles Cosper, Carter Batterby, Justin Holt. That's going to be your top five. Now 25 laps on the Full Velocity Racing Network scoreboard. We are in the back straightaway heading into turn number three on one of the most challenging tracks here in Eldora Speedway. We have seen them the is they are all locked up high. Nobody can really move. You take a trip to the low side, and you're probably going around like you saw Mr. Yount do just then right there as we are now off turn number two, 48 car to lead. And Ken, Trey Jones with car number 11, $150 to win. Who is going to take that big prize home this evening as we are in turns number three and four? Let's put 26 laps to bed as we rim ride off ripping the lip, running the push of the cushion, whatever terminology you want to use. It is Jay Mooborn leading the way as we are in turn number one and two, but the yellow flag going to fight us again. Yellow flag number eight of our main event out on lap number 27, so we'll slow it on down again. And the Racing Network instant replay. We have worn out jmaxstrong.com all night long. 21 of Colby Quellen involved. The 37 of Jeffrey Abbey involved. They've been involved in a few different wrecks tonight. There's a story. We are getting closer to this one. 27 laps complete of 30. Down to the nitty gritty here live. $150 to win live on the Full Velocity Racing Network. All right, the lights are out. We are 27 laps in. We're going to have three laps remaining in the feature, and we're going all green flag laps here this evening. So we got James Moborn leading Trey Jones, Charles Cosper, Keller Batterby, Justin Holt. That's the top five. Let's put the green flag back in the air off turn number four. Let's see if we can rim right around for, what is it going to be, about a mile and a half, half mile, Eldora Speedway, Rossburg, Ohio. 48 car has pretty much led this feature wire to wire so far, and he will lead the way into three and four. But the 11 car of Trey Jones is just breathing down his neck. Call it a car length and a half off the corner. 28 laps going on the board. We put two to go in the air. Popsicle 6 going down. And Popsicle 6 are going to have to wait down cold. They sound great. But we have a yellow flag on the speedway. This will be the final yellow flag where we will try a green-white checker attempt here. So yellow, yellow, yellow. 29 laps out on the board. We'll get a green white checker, and the 15 went in the corner hard and looks like wiped out a few cars over there. So there is the story. I don't believe this is what yellow flag number eight of the main event. It has been a rough one to do 30 green flag laps for sure. We appreciate you all tuning into the Full Velocity Racing Network, your source for esports racing.
All right, we'll leave the lights are out on the iRacing.com safety truck, and we're going to get $150 to the winner with a green-white checker attempt off to number four and put that number 48 car to the green flag. James Moobwater lead the way over Trey Jones, Charles Cosper, Carter Vatterby, Justin Holt is going to be our top five. It's been pretty consistent for a little while. We have not seen many green flag laps here tonight at all in Eldora, which is certainly a shame, but we are going to be in three and four. Trey Jones with a shot to the low side of Moobwater. Let's switch it up for the lead off to number four as a white flag goes in the air one more trip around 48 and 11 on the door for the lead as we head to turn number one and two move on up the hill we'll hit the outside wall trey jones trying to regroup here comes charles cosper to 33 drama here in the closing lap at eldora in the turns over three and four for the final time the race winner $150 to the number 48 car of james move on. he'll take down the win over Troy, Trey Jones, Charles Cosper, better be Justin Holt, Justin Mooney for six, Blake Clark, Wes Wigan, Jared Heizinga, and Will Smith will be our top ten. Colby Collins, Trey Smitherman, Jeffrey Hauser will finish 15th. But Colby Quellen, Travis Montgomery, Jeffrey Abbey, Billy Caps, Coy Pennington, Justin Yount, Matthew Day, Landon Caps running out our 23 car field on the Eldora Speedway. Thank you for watching. The Snake Bite 50 brought to you by Designer Reptiles. We're going to sign off from here. We'll talk to you all soon here on the Full Velocity Racing Network, your source for esports racing. Good night, everybody, from the Eldora Speedway.